Maybe you've ran into this problem in Nuke. You've set up your position to point node in Nuke, but your 3D point cloud is displaying in the wrong rotation or is flipped. You can easily fix this in Nuke with an expression node after your position pass. If you just want the expression script, you can skip ahead to the expression script in the video chapters. I've also popped it in the description. If you'd like to see the full setup in Nuke, then continue watching. This scene was rendered in Blender's standard settings with some additional passes including position and normals. When you first load in your Blender image sequence into Nuke, you'll probably have a black screen in your viewport. Click tab, select and connect a shuffle node and switch to view layer combined from your properties menu. Next, you'll need the same camera you rendered your 3D scene from. Create a regeo node and select the folder icon. I exported the whole scene, including all my meshes, as an alembic file. I'm just going to set the camera from the list, create an all-in-one node, then delete the regeo node as we no longer need it. Make sure your camera is set to the same frame rate as your 3D scene. Next, we need a position to points node. Select this from Nuke's tab menu. First, you'll connect it into your view layer combined shuffle node. Now we need to shuffle out the position and normals. Create two new shuffles and select view layer position and view layer normal from the drop down menu. I also rename these nodes to avoid confusion. Now connect position to points node to your position pass, then your normal pass. It's important that you connect these in the right order. The arrows are labeled to make this easier. Then create a scene node, connect your camera and position to points node. Add a scan align render node and plug in the camera and scene. Depending on what version of Nuke you're using, you might need to connect your normal and position to the RGB output layer in the shuffle node properties window. And here's a little extra tip for you. If you want to use the original shuffle in Nuke instead of the new one, hit X and type shuffle one into the command box. This is case sensitive, so make sure the S is in the uppercase and keep TCL selected. Then you can use the old shuffle. If you are using the old shuffle, then you won't need to connect any input slash output connections in the shuffle properties. Anyway, we can delete that one as we don't need it. So, you should see your point cloud in 3D and in 2D scanline render. Click tab in your viewport to toggle between 3D and 2D. Unfortunately, the rotation is off, so let's fix that. Add an expression node after your position pass, then hop over to your properties and add the following expression. Into the green channel, just type B, and in the blue channel, type G times negative 1. And that's it, your point cloud should now be in the right position. You can now relight, add additional 3D objects or planes into your scene, like so. If your 3D render has come from Maya instead of Blender, you'll need a different expression to fix the standard Maya world position setup. Write B times negative 1 in the blue channel. You don't need any expressions in the green or red channels. You can also use the multiply node to achieve the same result by simply setting the blue channel to negative 1. And that's it. Just a note, you can also change the world position in 3D before you render your scene. And if you're working with 3D artists, they might render the world position in the correct format for Nuke anyway. I'm personally always forgetting to sort out my world position before I render, so luckily it's super fast and easy to fix in Nuke. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope it was helpful.